guys. Got him. Woohoo! Look at that. Right off the Ticamino, baby. The Ticamino. Aggressive bite. A little small, but we're gonna let this one back. Let's go catch another one. Now, if you're, if you're wondering how we found this spot, yeah, make sure you go watch these TikTok videos. Sometimes I do a lot of uh, behind the scene videos of uh, how I find these spots. So if you guys wanna know how I'm doing this, make sure you guys go check out my TikTok. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the videos right here. Just make sure you guys go watch. Let's go catch some more fish. It's amazing how aggressive these crappies are, but then they're very finicky at biting. But they are coming and inspecting the lure. But as soon as I stop moving, then they kind of stop too. They kind of veer off. So I gotta kind of keep my rod, just kind of, just gotta keep my rod moving somehow. And I'll get them to come in. And I got a real big mark, about 20 feet coming on my right side. Hopefully it comes through. It could be real big crappies. Or it could be white bass on here too. There's white bass on this lake. So we'll see what happens. Oh, we got one coming up. Oh, it's coming up quick. It's coming up quick. Got him. Got him. Oh, look at this crappie right here, guys. Look at that. Right off the Tika Minnow, baby. Right there, baby. That's a perfect size eater. Looks like uh, about a nine and a half, ten inch, real nice and thick. So, yeah, let's put this in the live well. Let's go catch in a couple more. There's more coming. So, right. for a midday bite, I mean, it's they're they're pretty active for a midday bite. Right now, there's uh, uh there's Shannonville, probably about three quarters of a mile that way, and there's no one fishing this spot right here right now. I'm very surprised because this, looking at the topogra topographical map or the uh, Navionics, it looks like a real good spot, but there's no one fishing here. So this is these are spots where you kind of want to want to hit. There he goes. Look at that. Look at that. Another nice crappie, guys. Look at that. Another perfect eater right here. Perfect, perfect eater. Oh, it came right out. Look at that. I'm gonna show you how to make this tickle minnow even better. I mean, it works real good as itself right now but I also like to take a minnow so this way so the crappies have a target to hit when they're biting I'll just put on the minnow first and then I'll just pinch off the body we'll get some real big marks down underneath me right now let's get, let's get this down there real quick and see if we can get these two big marks that are right underneath me right now man this is so exciting guys this is so exciting I'm down to it. Oh, it sees it. It's coming. Oh, I'm just like that, guys. Just like that. Oh, this one feels bigger. This one feels bigger, guys. Let's see what it is. Oh my god. Oh, guys, that was a huge one. Oh my god. That thing was probably pushing 13, 14. But man, that was a huge one. There he goes. I wish I could show you guys the live scope footage. I don't have a recorder and uh, I don't have enough cameras. But look at this. It inhaled that thing. It inhaled it. But this one's a little smaller. Let these small ones go too. Next there he goes. I am just like that, guys. Just like that. Wow. They are just hammering this tikka minnow. This is a purple one with uh, kind of like the polka dot sides. And they are loving this. One thing that we figured out about this lake is that they love purple for some reason. Look at that. Not a slab. Perfect eater. But we're going to let this one go as well. I don't know if you can see my rod, but I'm just basically just pumping it up and down like this. So this is a jigging style roar too, so you want to give it a couple of jigs and it kind of swishes down like in the water, kind of like this. So it looks like it's a darting minnow. That's the way these Optica minnows are designed. There it goes. Got another one. 
There it goes. Oh, look at that. Another nice one, guys. Bam, beautiful. Beautiful crappies right here. You blew it out already? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's amazing guys, uh, my cousin right here, Bumblebee fishing, he's fishing literally only 40 feet away from me and uh, right now he's not marking anything and, and and they're all over here right now. It just shows you how amazing it is, the, how these fish are moving. You can be 15, 20 feet away and if you're not in their their pathway, they're gonna not gonna be underneath you. So I'm gonna let this one go, let's go catch some more guys. Now guys, when you find us, look at that. Be be with another one on right now. I was just gonna say, when you guys are fishing, try to stay away from uh, the crowds, and uh, you'll get action like this. If you're in the crowds, maybe <laughs> maybe that's a baby. <laughs> when you're in the crowd of the shanty bills, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of fish there, but then they're gonna be a lot more finicky. So you want to stay away from the crowds and find another spot. But uh, yeah, if you do the homework like at uh, Nav Nav Maps and everything, and you can find some real good spots like this. And it is uh, 12 day right now, and usually the fish are shut off, but I mean, we're still hammering them. Small ones, big ones, anywhere from uh, 9 all the way up to 12, 13 inches. So, Ooh, coming again. Here we go. Look at that. Seems like a pretty good one. Oh, not bad. Oh, not bad. Look at that, guys. Beautiful fish. Just off the Wonder Bread yep. spoon. Looks like a 132nd or. Smallest one you can find. Yeah, the smallest one you can find. So this one came in aggressive. Missed it the first first time and it came back again and hammered again. Look at that. Right off the Tika Minnow again. I'm going to let this one go. Big Mark coming after mine. Oh, Big Mark coming in. Oh, that's a really big Mark. There he goes. Oh! oh! <laughs> missed it, missed it. That was a big mark. That thing was like round. There we oh, go. Oh, oh, doubled. We got doubled. Oh, this one feels heavy. This one feels really heavy. Oh, this one's a good one too. Oh, it feels heavy, but it's not even that big. Look at that, guys. Here we go. Right here. <laughs> this has got to be a visa. 10 inch or so. Yeah, good. that's a good 10 right there. Ooh. Ooh, what is it? 11. 11, wow, nice. This little one, this one looks almost like a white crappie too. Letting this one go. Yeah, yeah <laughs> let's go. Man, you know, you're, you're catching big fish when you're letting all these big 10s and 11s go. Oh, look at that, guys. Just like that. Just like that, baby. Bam, look at that. Wow, look at that crappie. I'm gonna measure this one real quick. That's gonna be what? 11? Say, probably nine and a, 10, 10 inches. 10 inches? Mm hmm. 10 inches right here, guys. 10 inches. Again, another great eater, guys. Another great eater. But we're gonna let this one go as well. Let's go catch another one. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got another one on. Man. Oh, this one's pretty Ooh. good. Not bad. Oh, another white crappie. Look at that. Uh, wow, look at that white, white crappie. Go. Beautiful crappie. 11 and a quarter again. 11 and a quarter. Look at that. Letting it go. There he goes. There we go. Awesome. Okay, my cousin's going to show you his rod real quick right here. So this is the 27 inch light spring bobber so it's got a little, little spring bobber on there just using a little spoon right here real good for panfish and then i'm using the 27 or the 32 inch medium light clam scepter right here as well teamed it up with the pc fun viper x and also teamed it with a clam tico minnow right here and this is what we've been killing it on and i got i believe this is seven pound uh cigar Line highly recommend Seaguar Ice X line if you guys ever get a chance to use them. They are really hard to find, but when you find them, make sure you grab them. They are getting a little bit more finicky now, so I'm gonna switch up. Set the tickle minnow down for a little bit, and then get out the Hitler Ultra Finesse rod. Oh, here comes a bunch. 
And I'm actually going to be using this with the get to tackles squirrel tail. Yeah, this is a really ultra finesse rod. It's very sensitive, and uh, yeah, it doesn't take much to detect uh, the bites. Ooh, didn't even look at it. Turn away. Boom! Oh. <laughs> Sure, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's coming for me. Boom! Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at the bend on this rod. Look at that, guys. Look at that. <laughs> it didn't feel big until I started tackling, and now it feels nice. And again, I'm only using two pound line on this one, so. Right there. Another nice eater, but we're going to let it go. There you go. Oh, this one feels nice. There we go. Oh! This one I gotta get down on my Busted. knee. Oh, that's a big mark. That's a big one. Oh, oh, middle head. oh, oh, oh. You got it? Got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Where's the net? Where's the net? <laughs> Where's the net? <laughs> I'm only using a two pound cigar line on this one, so I gotta be very gentle with this one. Man, it's, just, it's still fighting. Oh! Got it? Yep, got it. Ooh, wow, look at one. this one. Ooh. Man. Look at that one, guys. Look at this slab. Holy cow, he's a nice hump in there. Man. Let's give this one a quick measure. 12 and a half? 12 on the dot. Oh, 12 on the dot, huh? 12 on the dot. Not wow. bad. Not bad, guys. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Man. Beautiful fish. Ooh, oh, double. doubled at the same time, too. <laughs> Make sure. Oh, yeah, looks like that smaller group is moving in. Eating an answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy cow, that, that is, big is huge. I thought it was a crappie. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. Guys, personal here. best. Right here. I gotta grab this camera right here. <laughs> Holy cow, look at that. Man, is that a big sunny. Holy cow. That's a true slab right there. Holy cow. Oh, look at that group. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's a big group. Wow, how big is that? 10 and a quarter. Holy cow, it's only 10 and a quarter. Looks, I thought it was at least uh, 13. Yeah, but it's fat, though. It's fat, tall. Quick look at that again. Man, that is so beautiful. Such a beautiful sunny. Oh, wow. that's a good size. It's a good size crappie right here. Look at that. Ooh. Oh. Oh. But this one's probably gonna be. Oh yeah, this one's a 11 incher easily right here. But you know what? We're letting this one go too. Give it a little quick kiss. Oh yeah. Let's let this one grow bigger. Probably what? <laughs> 19 incher. Mm-hmm. Well, this is probably the smallest fish that we caught all day today. Bam! Nice, nice. Squirrel tail all day, guys. Squirrel tail all day. It's a little mesmerized. Right here, guys. Man, that hurted. I'm gonna do a CPR first. A little kiss, mouth to mouth. A mouth. little tongue to tongue action. Now, we're ready to go catch another one. Average. Average lake right here. Average crappie. Very nice, very nice. One last time. Another kiss. Back it goes. See you next time. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys like this episode. We had a lot of fun today, as usual. And uh, the crappies were super active today, pretty much throughout the whole day. I think there was probably two, three hours that we just stopped filming because uh, the action was just so hot. So. But now it's uh, time to go home, and uh, so you see it's starting to get real cold again. It's uh, dropping down to the negatives again. So, but again, this is uh, Bumblebee fishing, my cousin, and uh, I'm Wild Urban Adventures. 
Anyways, as always, follow your dreams, follow your passions, make it happen, guys. See you guys on the next video.